In today's video, I'll be going over a grow tank that aids in socialization, building trust, for a water monitor. This is not my original idea, it's a Mike's Monitors method. In this video, I'll be showing you how to drill glass, set up your drainage system, water filtration and heater, lighting for heat, humidity retention, and how to start building trust through feeding, along with some bonus footage of touring Mike's Monitor's facility and the new reptile I came home with. I had a spot on my rack that would fit a 36 by 18 by 18 Exoterra. Removed the fake background and did a water test for 72 hours. Taped off where I wanted to drill, put my jig into place, poked a hole into the water jug to cool my drill bit, and used the jig to start guiding me as I drilled the hole. Once my hole was started, I removed the jig and continued drilling. Make sure to put no pressure on the drill and let the drill weight do all the work. In total, it took about four and a half minutes to drill through quarter inch glass. Went ahead, cleaned it off, removed the tape, and sanded it down with 220 grit sandpaper. Put the enclosure in its place and drilled a pilot hole through the shelf so I could mark where I wanted my hole to be. Used a two and a half inch hole saw so I had a little bit of play with my plumbing. Put the enclosure back on the rack and lined everything up. Cleaned off the tank and the half inch bulkhead with rubbing alcohol. Put a small piece of half inch PVC into the bulkhead and screwed it into place. Use PVC primer and Sullivan cement to bond all the PVC fittings together. I also use a quick release fitting to remove it from the enclosure with ease. Filled it up with water to test everything out. Added a flexible hose so I can guide it into a 5 gallon bucket. Turn the ball shut off valve. And drain the water out of the enclosure. Added black construction paper to the sides and back to give the monitor more security. Added some lamp mounts to the back of the enclosure along with some 75 watt halogen bulbs with a Fluker's dimmable light fixture. Using a 25 watt ceramic heat emitter for nighttime temperatures that's controlled with a thermostat. Then added a Fluvel AquaSky for some ambient lighting. Now for humidity retention. I had a few pieces of glass cut, one for the right side front, the left side back, and the left side front. Placed in the Oaza Indoor Aquatic Bio Plus Thermo 50 filter, then installed the heater and set it to 80 degrees. Washed off some bricks and sprayed it with chlorohexidine. I'll be using these as a foundation for my cork tubes. Filled it up with water to get the depth right so the filter would operate successfully. Started putting painter's tape on the cork tubes so I can drill some holes and start socializing the reptile while feeding. Drilled some inch and a quarter holes with a hole saw where I put the painter's tape. Place the cork tubes back into the enclosure. and check to make sure that the basking light hit my target zone. Placed in some foliage for extra security. Started up the car and headed up north to my friend Mike's place with Mike's monitors. I can't tell you how cool it was 
to be able to walk through this door and see all the living art that Mike created. When you first walk in, you see his Merton enclosure. I remember seeing a video years ago and just being in awe with the construction and design he put into this build. But I'm gonna stop talking now so you can go ahead and get a glimpse of what he's built. We'll get back to the grow tank shortly. Once getting home with my new Varanus coming eye, it was time to put him into his socialization and trust building enclosure. I have some big plans on building a big naturalistic enclosure for this guy. I'll also be adding full do-it-yourself build videos on the progress I make. I started tong feeding through the holes I drilled out earlier to start to build trust and reward for him coming out. I really want to avoid force handling and instead have him come to me. Once he starts getting comfortable with this, I'll start coaxing him out onto my hand, leading him with food. They are curious and inquisitive creatures that are meant to be respected. In turn, they'll get respect back. Thank you Mike's Monitors for letting us see your art. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It helps the channel out a lot when you do. And if you haven't checked out already, see some of my other builds. They're all full do-it-yourself videos. There's also a lot of content planned for the near future. Comment what you thought and what you'd like to see me build next.